Hey guys, good morning. Carlos Herrera here in Auburn. I am at the Arco gas station here on Highway 49 and Dry Creek Road. There it is. It's one of the busiest gas stations in Auburn and actually one of the main gas stations that drivers see before they head out of Auburn and head north on Highway 49. First of all, let's show you here the traffic right on Highway 49 that's impacted. We're covering, of course, these uh, planned power shutoffs by PG&E. You can see really a backup here. Over there in the distance, you can also see the traffic lights kind of flickering there. That means they're not working. And of course, that's because of all the power shutoffs. At last check, at least 16,000 PG&E customers were without power just in Auburn. Placer County, of course, that number nearly doubles. And you can see that's causing trouble, not only traffic-wise, but also at the pump. We've seen a lot of folks really stopping by here this morning, trying to fill up and head to work for their morning commute. We know that the uh, morning commute for work is really common here in Auburn. Uh, most of the people have to commute to Sacramento uh, to work today, and they're having uh, trouble kind of finding a gas station to gas up and head to work. All gas stations in Auburn are closed today. I spoke with a gas station owner here. He tells me he expects to be without power and closed um, all week. We also saw him and his employees kind of parking his pickup truck right here and loading it up with all the frozen goods that he has, hoping that none of them goes to waste. He was here since midnight, which is when that fire was turned off here in Auburn. Again, this is on right off of Highway 49 and Dry Creek Road, one of the busiest intersections in Auburn. We spoke with people who are really trying to come in here, gas up, but they're forced to turn by, right back around. For those folks who live in Auburn and are headed to Sacramento for work this morning, the closest gas station you'll find is Rockland. That's about 16 miles away. So you can imagine the trouble for drivers who are really driving on empty right now and we're in a rush to get to work today. That's not happening. We spoke with a gentleman earlier this morning who was trying to fill up today. He was really on empty. He was forced to park, call his, um, call his boss and tell him that he's probably not gonna make it because he really has no gas to make it all the way back uh, to work today. So again, a lot of trouble. There you see one of the cars, one of the many that we've seen here today. Trying to stop by for gas and realizing that this gas station is closed and will remain closed for the rest of the week. That's according to the uh, gas station owner. Of course, we have team coverage, um, extended coverage, of course, on these plant of power shutoffs. Hundreds of thousands are without power in Northern California for PG&E's planned power shutoffs. So we have more coming up here on ABC 10 and of course on Facebook Live. Um, I'll post more updates as soon as I have.